All right, um, uh, are you recording? Oh, okay, I guess I should hit record then. Hey guys, welcome to Lights, Camera, DJs, The Is. My name is Brandon Smith, and today I'm here with one of our photographers, Jen. Say hi, Jen. Hello. Yeah, we're super excited to be here today, and the reason we're coming today, um, we like to tackle a lot of the frequently asked questions here on The Is, and one of them is, why do I need an engagement shoot? What's up with this engagement shoot? A lot of people like to ask about engagement shoots and what the importance is. So we brought Jen, one of our photographers, to answer that question. So Jen, why an engagement shoot? So engagement shoots are important because we need to get to know our couples. We need to know your personalities. You guys need to know our personalities and how we're going to interact on your wedding day. So being in front of the camera in a less formal setting mm -hmm. allows you guys to see how we are going to be on your wedding day. Yeah, I think that's, that's good because at a wedding, there's so many other people around, so it's hard for the couple to focus all their attention, and then you're talking to them, and you're saying, hey, we gotta do this, we gotta do this, so at least this way you can establish a rapport with them when it's only you three. Plus, it gives us an opportunity You see how we're gonna pose you guys. We do a lot of the same poses that we're gonna do on the wedding day so that we see how you guys interact as a couple as well as Giving, getting direction from us. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and what do you typically have people wear? What do you tell them? A lot of people ask us that, you know, what, what should we wear for the shoot? What do, what do you we want it to be about you guys and your personality. So starting with picking a location, mm -hmm. we want something that's gonna reflect you guys as a, a couple, somewhere you frequently visit, somewhere you like to be, maybe where you propose, mm -hmm. anything that's pertaining to you guys. And attire should reflect that. If you're going to the beach, high heels is probably not a great option. Mm -hmm. If we're going into the city, maybe a little bit more dressy attire. Mm -hmm. um, we suggest bringing a change of clothing. Halfway through, we can always switch it up, bringing changing accessories, mm -hmm. stuff like that to just change up, bring out personality, keep it about you guys. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, that's pretty simple, pretty basic. What do you think are the some of the coolest places that you've done engagement shoots? We're big fans of Harkness Park. Mm -hmm. um, Where's Harkness Park for uh, people listening? Not sure. Oh, uh, Waterford. Oh, okay. All right, and that's right on the beach, right? There's the beach there. There's mm -hmm. buildings there. Um, we like places that have a lot of different options. Mm -hmm. Depending on what time of the day we're going to be there, shaded areas, uh, buildings, beach, sunsets, a great time. Mm -hmm. Something that we can have a lot of different options for cool. backdrops. All right. What's your favorite place that you think you went? Um, I know put me on the spot a little bit here. Uh, we rehearsed some of the questions, but this is a secret question. I actually did a shoot out in Newport. Oh, yeah? So we hit the cliff walk, we hit the beach, we were downtown. Oh, awesome. Yeah, That's out in, really good spot. it was out in the dock. There was a lot of a lot of options. Oh, cool. All right. Um, and then how many pictures do people typically receive from the engagement shoots? What the, should they expect? The gallery typically has between 75 to 100 images. Oh, okay. Oh, really? That much? Mm -hmm. All right. See, I'm learning stuff today, too, since I'm an MC and a DJ. I don't know a whole lot about the photography um, aspect, but I do take some pretty cool pictures. You can check me out on Instagram, Brandon Smith 203 Shameless plug you in do. there. You do. What's your Instagram? I don't even know if I have one. You don't have an Instagram, lady? That's all right. By the end of the day, she's going to have <laughs> one, so don't worry, guys. Um, uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you is how long do the sessions usually take? About? They're typically about an hour. Okay. Um, some clients do want to extend it and hit two locations. Mm -hmm. If we're in a close radius to them, then we can do that. Um, typically, we try and keep it to one location, but you know, we're flexible in any option that clients bring, we try to accommodate. Okay, so if it's just a, a basic, a standard one, about an hour they should expect. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Another thing that people ask us too is if, because they see other people's engagement shoots and sometimes they bring props and other stuff. What do you think about props and what do you suggest? We encourage props. Okay. Um, people will bring things with their wedding date on it, Mr. and Miss sign, and signs. They'll bring along their pets. Oh, okay. We do. Fur babies. We do encourage fur babies. I think I'm going to bring a fur baby for the next podcast. <laughs> I'm going to bring one of my cats, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> but we do suggest having someone come and help with the pet. Oh, out. yeah, that's a good idea. Because they won't be in all the pictures. Uh huh. And. Leaving them in the car is not an option with us, so we yeah. really encourage to have somebody come along and help. All right, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That's cool. And um, I guess this would have to do with 
the location, but what's the best time of day? What time of day do you suggest to shoot? We try and shoot in the morning, or as early in the morning as we can, mm -hmm. or as close to sunset as we can. Shooting midday makes for really strong sun and contrast. Uh, so we try and shoot in the golden hours, what, as photographers we call it. And what's that time frame about, you think? A couple hours before sunset. A couple hours before sunset. Mm -hmm. And then a couple hours after sunrise, I would imagine, yep. same kind of thing. All right. Yep. But we will shoot right up until sunset. We bring you know, off-camera flashes and that kind of stuff so we can get some really rich sunset colors. All right. Um, what else did I have to ask you here? Uh, one of the questions is, what advice would you have for people? Because obviously, most, time, most people, it's the first time, so they're not really sure what to expect, and they might be nervous. You know? So what advice would you have for them overall? We know that you're going to be nervous. Mm -hmm. That's just everybody's like that. Everybody is apprehensive at first, but we really just have fun. We mm -hmm. go out there, we'll joke around, we'll hang out, we just kind of get to know each other, and we just kind we try and make it not so formal. Like we're out there, we're having fun. We want you guys to get into it as much as we're into it, and we just work together and work through it. So. And basically, you're telling these people, you're telling people that you know you shouldn't be nervous. You're, it's a day of fun. We're yeah. gonna go have fun in a park. We're gonna go have fun near the beach and whatever it is, and we're just gonna take pictures. Yeah, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna joke. I'm gonna get to know you. You'll get to know me and my quirky personality, and we'll just have fun. All right. Um, can you remember anyone specifically you think that didn't really wasn't fond of having an engagement shoot and really was, and then all of a sudden <laughs> when they did it? Yes. Um, it's generally the guys who are usually not so into the shoots. Um, All right, guys, I'm looking at you. Yeah. Get out there, get those pictures. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like they're being dragged there, which, mm -hmm. you know, but it's better to get used to it before it's your wedding day mm -hmm. rather than just, you know, fresh on your wedding day, now being thrown in front of the camera and yeah. to pose, dip, and kiss in front of the camera is also really big with people. Mm -hmm. um, so it just kind of, it gives them an idea of what to expect. All right, that sounds pretty good. Well, I think that's gonna about wrap it up for us. Um, if you have any questions, you could call Jen on her cell phone, like that number. <laughs> just kidding, you can send her email. And what's that email? It's jen at lightscameradjs.com. One N, right? One N. J-E-N, okay. And you can reach me at brandon at lightscameradjs also dot com right at lightscameradjs.com <laughs> yes you can email me there if you have any questions or anything you'd like to talk about podcast or if you have any things you'd like us to talk about here on the podcast on the is well thank you jen for your time i appreciate it and we'll see you later bye